Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're interested to learn Georgian language or if you're interested in Georgia, don't forget to subscribe my channel and um, you can watch a lot of videos that I have already uploaded. Today, I'm not talking about anything like grammar or words, but I'm explaining about Georgia and Georgian people because I made a question like what are other interesting topics for you, like maybe culture, maybe something like that. So now I'm going to answer your questions and the questions that are not asked i'm just going to talk about the things that i think are useful before you come here or if you live here the first question was if people are welcoming here for tourists as long as you stay respectful we love to have guests like we say the guest is from god um we love to have people at home i'm not speaking instead of everyone and i'm not speaking for everyone me personally i love to have people at home i love to um, i don't know have dinners with them to have drinks at home it's very common to have sleepovers at home <clears throat> also like if you go somewhere you may stay for a few days with your relatives and that's like very normal and um uh, i have noticed that we like especially when European people or American people are coming because it's something quite new. Like it wasn't always like this. Before we were part of Soviet Union, so <clears throat> people couldn't even travel somewhere nice. And somewhere nice, I mean, like they couldn't go everywhere. So it's still something new that tourism has improved and has gone further. So I say I think that we like to have tourists. Um, my personal opinion is that um because of the war in ukraine now there are lots of russians and ukrainians of course in georgia and um yeah i'm not go I'm, I'm not gonna hide anything just if we know that there, there is the place where there are lots of russians or waiters are talking russians we don't go to these places and uh, one of the reasons why people may not go to Batum is because there are lots of Russians. Why is it a problem? It's a problem because there is a lot of traffic. There are many cars in the street. The subways are full of people and we are always late everywhere. It's a big problem in, ter in general in Tbilisi traffic, but especially it became very big. And then we have a problem because we don't like when people come here and they pretend that we are supposed to speak Russian. No, like I'm a young person. I wasn't part of Soviet Union. Maybe my parents were. And even if I have learning, I was learning Russian at school, I'm not going to talk with you in Russian. But with my neighbor that I have known for years, yeah, with her, I may listen to her and I may answer to her also in Russian. But if you're coming to me and you think that I'm supposed to speak your language, I'm not going to do this. And once I was in taxi and there was a man who said that he had a Russian tourist and this tourist said, um, speak in a language that I'm going to understand. And then he wrote a very bad um, mark, like very bad feedback. And yes, please know that if you're in someone's country, at least use international language or learn at least how to say hello and thank you and goodbye in Georgian. And after this, uh, we really like to hear how other people are talking in Georgian. It's not like when people say, oh, in France, nobody speaks English. In Georgia, we speak English. But if you at least say, hello, thank you, goodbye, nice to meet you, we are very happy. And then we're like, okay, can you say this? Can you say that? Um, we're just happy to know about your culture. And we're happy to share whatever we have. If you're our guest, um, I'm sure that people will give you lots of food and lots of drinks. And maybe you have a house for a few days at least. So that's what I think. And then, uh, how to be polite. There was someone loving the new videos. Just curious if you can maybe do one on culture, manners, planning on travel alone as a female the, uh, next year and don't want, don't want to be the rude American. Okay, as long as you're American, you cannot be rude because um, I have noticed that American people are very polite, very diplomatic. So... Um, I, I think that we are not as polite as you are, so you're not gonna fail. But about culture, you may know that um, we love to have uh, the physical touch, but not like it is in USA that you're hugging so much. We hug our friends, we hug our family, 
we kiss but not twice like in europe we just kiss on one cheek don't ask me which cheek it is because it can be whatever like there is always some kind of um, embarrassing situations even if you know someone we shake our hands not like too much just normally and um uh, about me okay as you're a girl just um i would i would tell you that maybe you should just stay safe uh i don't say that georgia is in a safe country but when it's night uh, or in like public transport as a female i don't have a great experience or if you go somewhere at least leave a message where are you share your location with someone okay that's it it's not gonna harm you people are not scary but um, it's not like you can go whatever i cannot lie i cannot tell you go out in the street at 2 a.m and you're gonna be safe you're not gonna be very safe yeah so i think that's all manners are that okay well just now i'm in italy and people here they can clean their their nose in a very noisy way if you do this in georgia even with your family members that's not acceptable like people may uh lose their appetite and it's not okay you can cough you can do whatever you want just don't make weird sounds <laughs> I don't know why it came to my mind as the first thing, but I think it's funny. Like in Germany, it's uh, quite common, uh, common as I know, not not in Georgia. And um, then there was also about, let me find it. It was about legends and uh, folklore. So I think that we are very proud for having our culture, our dance, our music, folk, um, our polyphonic singing. Uh, you can search on YouTube, of course. We have our traditional clothes that are typical for Caucasus region, not just in Georgia. And a lot of people know how to dance, like in the streets you will see people dancing. Um, and about legends, I would say that maybe uh, you have heard about um, Argonauts, which were coming from Greece to take Golden Fleece. And there was Yazan with his big boat and other people. He fell in love with Medea. Medea was like a witch. Like she was, uh, she knew everything. Like she knew how to make medicine. And uh, she fell in love with this guy. And she kind of like gave him the secret of getting gold. And then uh, she helped him to do some things because it's, it was quite impossible. There were dragons and there was a lot of stories about it. So maybe if you know about Media or Yazan, yeah, Media was from Georgia, from Colchis, which is now Western Georgia. If you go to Western Georgia in Batumi, you will see the statue of Media. If you go to Kutaisi, you will have the statues everywhere. And yeah, this place was famous for the secret of getting gold. And lots of hotels are still called Golden Fleece and Argonauts and Argo. Media is quite a common name. So maybe it's interesting also about how Tbilisi was, um, became the capital is that our king, Bahtang Gorgasali, was hunting. The capital was in Tcheta. And while hunting in Tbilisi, the bird was killed and the bird fell into the water. I think this bird was called pheasant. Now I don't remember in English. And the, the water started boiling. So they noticed that water was warm and they thought it would be nice to have the capital there. Before it was just for hunting. So the capital was moved from Sheta to Tbilisi. And we still have sulfur baths. It's uh, quite famous in Old Town to have sulfur baths. And there is still warm water and the name Tbilisi, Tbilisi means warm. Very easy, Tbilisi, Tbilisi. Georgian TV series and movies. Um, the website that we were all using now is not accessible anymore. It was called Ajananet and I'm very sad for it. And then there is Gavia. You can just search on YouTube, Georgian movies, Kartuli Pil maybe. Um, you can find a lot of old movies, Soviet movies. It's very interesting because, as you know, 
a list of things were banned so you had to talk in a different way and you had to show the things in a different way so the people who are checking wouldn't understand what you really wanted to say like Georgian movie Sherek Ilebi it's about how to escape from Soviet Union but no one would ever understand because they were just in prison but prison was like a symbol of Soviet Union and then destroying the walls was just to escape from Soviet Union. It's very interesting how these people would do this by movies, by songs, by books. And uh, what was I saying? Yeah. So if you search on YouTube, Georgian TV series, Kartuli Seriali or Kartuli Pilnavi, you can watch them. Uh, TV series, maybe you can search for Shua Kalakshi in the middle of the city. It's about friendships, it's about family, it's about neighbors. In Georgia, we are tend to be close with our neighbors. Another TV series that I'm watching is Chemi Tolis Dakalebi. It's a satire, it's kind of comedy, but it's not comedy anymore because they are showing like political situation. Um, it's about family, friends. Um, and if you like historical drama, maybe I would recommend you to watch Diplisi. It's a very beautiful, like very beautiful costumes. A lot of stories, interesting. It's from old time. Tbilisi was an old name for Tbilisi. I think it was like a Russian name, not like a Georgian name, but it was like called Tiflis. So yeah, that one. And from movies, I cannot ask, I cannot recommend anything because I have lots of very favorite movies. One of them is called Yavnana, Yavnana Brakna. Yavnana is lullaby. So there is a story that there was a family living in Kacheti, Vashlovani, Vashlovani? Am I mistaken? I don't remember. Yes, but there was a family. They had a little girl called Keto. It's a novel by uh, Yakob Bokebashvili. So they were singing all the time, lullaby. And this girl then was kidnapped uh, in Kacheti. It's very close to where their legs so these people would kidnap people and it was very common and Keto was also kidnapped and after years father found her but she couldn't remember her parents she couldn't remember the language until the mother started to sing lullaby again <laughs> For me, the scene is just like, every time I watch it, I cry. It's just like automatic click on me, like, you turn on this scene and I cry. And for a lot of Georgian people, it's very um, sensitive thing. We like lullaby, Yavnana, every mother and father sings to their, sing to their kids. And for me, it's one of my favorite movies, like a bit mysterious and uh, very touching. Okay, so what is a typical everyday breakfast in Georgia? What is a typical everyday breakfast in Georgia? Leftovers from the previous day. Uh, I don't know. There is nothing like, oh, we don't go and take croissants for morning. But if we do, we know it's not Georgian. Kids have just tea and we have coffee. It's quite common that people just go with their cigarette and coffee. But very common is that you have hajapuri from previous day, you put it on the pan and you make it warm and you eat it. Or we have French toast that is called kikaliko. For us, it's nothing French. It's very typical to have to have kikaliko. It's just something quick, but at the same time, we may prepare our breakfast like we would prepare our lunch and dinner. It's not just something quickly, but very typical is that grandmas and mothers would make it for kids and they have like a good breakfast before they go to school and then if you like I like to have a good breakfast so I can put the effort to make it well and nice and that's it um, about singers I would recommend one singer because probably you want to know Georgian singers who are singing in Georgian and the one who comes to my head to my mind is called Iragli Charkoviani he has a lot of songs. He's not alive, unfortunately, anymore. But for us, it's like a treasure. He also has another name called Nepe. He gave this name to himself, called King. And uh, also, it's a very good way of learning 
Georgian language. He sings all the time in Georgian. So Georgian and this singer are like always together. And I have noticed that a lot of foreigners are also listening to Niaz Diasamidze. You can also check about him. He has good music. It's like a mixture of something uh, quite old, like the way he sings. At the same time, it's not old-fashioned. Writers. Okay, who can I recommend? One of my favorite writer is Guram Dochanashvili. There is the place called Prospero in Tbilisi on Rostaveli Street. For example, Granny, Iliko, Ilarion, and I. Maybe be a Iliko da Ilarioni by Nodar Tumbatze. It's like a treasure for us. Super funny. This writer is so funny. You cry and you laugh and then you cry and then you laugh and it's the combination of tears of happiness and sadness and you never know if you're happy or sad but it's very nice. The next one is Journey to Karabakh. Kaserneba Karabakhshi by Aga Murchiladze. You can also find this book probably. Uh, of course, Shota Rustaveli. <laughs> Shota Rustaveli is number one writer, poet in Georgia, and his poem is called Vebhist Kaosani. Uh, you can find it in English, not just in, in, in English, but in many languages. Um, these are one of the things that maybe you should know. And not just this, but there are lots of books that I'm checking now. Modern writers are Lesha Bugadze or Aka Murchiladze, not only them, but many others. We have very good writers. The country is very little, but we are very proud for our rich literature. I am. There is also Datatu Tashkia by Chabu Amirajibi. It's very good. There is also a book. You can do it. There is also a book for Kasir Nipak Arabakshi. Jemal Karchadze is very nice. Koderzi Chocheli, Adamianta Seuda. Adamianta Seuda is sadness of people. Mm, I also teach by his book. It's nine questions about love. So when uh, we're practicing and reading, we're reading this because it's not very difficult. You can understand something at least. And that's it. Okay. I think that's all I could say. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for leaving your comments. If you have any other questions, uh, you can comment and I can answer. And um, don't forget to subscribe my channel and see you in the next video. Nachwabdis! Kargat!